over here the leak valve that is opening at the correct pressure and then after a while that it closes at the right pressure as well. And then after it's closed, that's when we come back and then we go on test. So we have to you know make sure that all the okay, we have to make sure that all the functions that they have to happen when it's inflated that it goes through that sequence. And with the CO2 cylinder, it's going to bleed off a lot faster and longer. Right. And this inflates in 45 seconds, is it? Well, by the time it's fully, fully inflated, it would be about a minute to a minute and a half. Okay. You know, that is the... It takes shape within, uh, within 45 seconds, but it's such a large volume that you know, to be fully uh, ejecting the extra pressure from the relief valves, uh, it would be probably about a minute and a quarter, a minute and a half. This is really old equipment that you have. It's a very minimum equipment. You have a bellows, a couple of balers, a sponge, flashlight, signal mirror, a little repair kit, and the orbs. So anything that is blue, it got the power to kill the uh, bonding of the adhesive. But aside from that, there's, they don't, that's the only reason that they use the powder. It's for killing whatever adhesive is over glue, and that way it doesn't stick to itself. And when it deploys, it's not ripping coatings apart. And this is the towing patches in here, where you, you know, you do the towing in here. That's where you would be pulling individuals, you know, with uh, a rescue boat, and just pull this unit loaded with the individuals. Then you have the knife in there, so you can cut off the line. If things get a little hairy, this is where you have to cut off the knife. Um, pull out the knife, and then. Make sure you don't cut yourself. That's right. This unit is a basic, you know, uh, rescue platform because it doesn't have the canopy, doesn't have the, the water rations, flares, that makes it a lot more uh, offshore. This is coastal use only. blow this unit. The other thing that you know, I don't know where you guys have your exhaust, but if it's on the side, if the exhaust is right by the gunnel, you have to you have to remove the unit from there because it is gonna burn a hole. Uh, we were doing a training for the Golden Gate Ferries that the VMAP training what they call. And as we started to move forward with the uh, ferry boat the water was kicked up by the boat, so this unit started to rise up and it ended right smack against the exhaust and just blew a hole. So 
those are the, the mm -hmm. ladies that, high heels and <laughs> yeah. yeah so anything sharp and high heels to be removed as well as you know on the side where you secure this to the boat you have to make sure that is no sharp edges in there and when you do if you do launch it you secure from this line and then on the other side it has the same so you pull from here and you pull from that side and it's but this right here part of against the side of the vessel because if you only secure on one side she's going to be rolling in different directions which is going to make it very unstable so you have to secure from the joint patcher patch smack it against the vessel so she doesn't have the ability to rotate now these two cylinders do they fall off after it's they inflated stay, uh, they just stay underneath there that okay. becomes a one-way valve so okay. if there's a small function that you're not going to lose any air okay. so they stay on okay and those are co2 and nitrogen so right right and that could the cylinder's going to end up on the top instead of the bottom. Like I said, it's a reversible platform. Depending on the weather, depending on how when it's deployed, it could inflate upside down, which is no big deal. You have seen features, the top is the bottom, so it doesn't make any difference in that. But it is quite important to smack that against the side of the vessel so she doesn't rotate. You see, you only secure it to one side, She's just going to be playing tricks on you, and people are going to be falling, and the person who's helping people from the boat to the unit, they have no control.